Welcome to my top 10 pets list. These are the animals in Minecraft that I love the best. Some of them you can tame, some of them are passive, but I think they're special. So let's wait in the water and drown before I begin. Number 10, Axolotls. They're very beautiful creatures that hang around in lush caves. They're available in five different variants, including the super rare blue one. They don't really do much, but I find them to be a very beautiful pet. Certainly if you can add them to a tank. You can't really interact with them very much, you can feed them tropical fish, but they are awesome pets. To catch them, because you don't really tame them, you need to get yourself a bucket of water, and then gently click near the axolotl. Whoops. Wow, I have one. I have the cutest predator, a bucket of axolotl. Then you can transport them anywhere you want, and you have an axolotl pet. Number 9, Foxes. They're a very cute animal in Minecraft. They come in two variants, either the red fox, which I like the best, or the snowy white fox, which you can find in the snow tiger biome. You can find the red fox in the normal tiger biome. They can hold things in their mouth. Taming them, though, is a real pain. You need to get yourself some sweet berries, then you have to get one of the baby ones to come with you. To do that, you use a lead. Then, when it's far enough away from the parents, what you have to do is feed it sweet berries until it becomes an adult. Then you have a wonderful pet fox. They certainly don't feel as loyal as other pets in this list, but they are certainly a wonderful pet to have. Here's my attempt at trying to tame one. I used loads and loads of sweet berries and eventually it became an adult. Doesn't say anywhere that it's my pet, but I do believe it is. They are really cute pets, our foxes. Number 8. Turtles. You can't really tame these pets either. They're a passive mob, but I do like them. I think they're cute and sturdy little creatures. They like to hang around the beach. The reason they're in this list is that you can get scoots from them, which is like a thing to make helmets. This cute little baby one is swimming around the sea with its mummy. I think it looks adorable. If I feed it enough seagrass, it will become an adult and drop me a scoot. If I find enough baby ones, I can make myself a turtle helm, which I can use to increase my underwater breathing. The baby one has had just enough seagrass and it's turned into an adult. It dropped me a scoot as well. These are really cool animals, don't overlook them. I know they're not really a pet as such, but I think they're very fantastical animals, worthy of a place on this list. Number 7, Parrots. Found in the jungle biome, they come in multiple different variants including Red Macaw and Cockatoo. I really like that one. It's the only pet that you can tame with seeds. Quite an easy pet to tame, really. Some people don't like the sound of the parrots after a while, they're quite noisy. But I think they're awesome. You could certainly have them in an outdoor area to scare away the bad guys. After you've tamed your parrot, it's your best friend forever. You can take him on your adventures with you and he will always follow. Here I used the parrot spawn egg to show you a few of the variants. This would be cool having a whole menagerie of pets. I want to build a parrot room one day, that would be awesome. Like an aviary for birds. Parrots are something special. Never ever say otherwise. Or you must subscribe. Number 6 takes us to a thunderous place. What we need is a skeleton horse. The chance of these things to spawn is very low. 2% in a thunderstorm. But when they do spawn, they come in packs, and you have to dispatch the skeleton archers before you can get one. It's very dangerous, it might be a little bit scary, but once you've done that, you can get the skeleton horse as your own little riding companion. Tame it as you normally would with a normal horse. Pop on a saddle and it's yours, it's good to go. Something I'd like to mention really quick though about the skeleton horses is that you cannot just use the egg and tame that one. You can't cheat your way into having one of these guys. So if you really want a skeleton horse, Hang around a thunderstorm long enough and you'll get one. They're fantastic creatures, although a little bit scary. Number five, wolves. These are fantastic animals and I'm sorry they don't go higher in the list because I prefer cats. They're rather easy animals to tame. All you need is a bone that you can get from a skeleton and they're your friends. I do like the wolf because it is rather aggressive and it can help you in fights too. One thing I especially like about the wolf is that you can change the color of the collar using some dye. Here I've got some lime green dye and pink dye. These look fantastic. I've got a boy and a girl and I'm going to take my wolves for a little walk. They can be very feisty sometimes, but when they are on your side, they're the best friends ever. I really like wolves, and I think they're a very special animal. They don't go higher in this list though, because I do prefer other things. But the wolf is a wonderful pet, and you can find them in the tiger biome. Sometimes, if you get unlucky, they will fight you. But boy, what a beautiful pet this is. Who doesn't love dogs? Except me. Number 4, the ocelot. You can find these in the jungle biome. It's like a cat, but a little bit more aggressive. I would say it's a wild cat. Now to tame these, you need to sneak upon them and sneak them a fish in their mouths. 
Sounds easy, but it's not. I spent ages chasing this one around just to feed it a fish. And it's one of those pets that's not quite loyal and on your side. It will follow you around if you have a fish in your hand. Otherwise, it will run away. Ocelots are a very unique creature, but they're not exactly loyal, just like the foxes, really. I would say this is sort of a passive pet. They're a fantastic creature, not really a pet, but they're a wild cat that you can have in your garden. Really, really lovely animals. Number three, bees. Again, they're not really a pet, but they're very, very lovely animals and they do love flowers. They can make you honey, which you can use to eat and make many a thing in the crafting table, but they can be quite annoying to deal with, certainly. The reason I put bees as number three is because they do offer a unique characteristic and they can certainly spice up the place near your house. Having a bee farm is fantastic, you get all that honey. In order to not upset the bees, you mustn't attack their hives or damage them in any way. You can hold a flower and they can be your friend. That's kind of like a pet. If you want to make a hive, you need to get three honeycombs, which you need to farm with shears from a bee's nest. Now to do that, you need to put smoke underneath so the bees are calm, just like in real life. Then once you've done that, you can get three honeycomb each time, which is enough to make one hive. If you repeat that process enough, you can have lots of hives and lots of bees. Then all you need to do is find lots of flowers and you've got yourself a honey farm. That's different. Not many animals help you like this, do they? I love the bees. They're a fantastic addition to Minecraft and I think they're wonderful. Number two, cats. Usually found in villages and swamp huts, cats are a wild and passive mob that you can tame. They're a little bit scared of you. So you've got to sneak around with a fish, cautiously feed them, then you can get yourself a cat pet. They come in many different variations. I think I like the tabby and the black cat. Let me know what your favorite cat color is in the comments. You can also change their color color too, just like the wolves. You need some dye for that. Cats are easily one of my favorite pets in the game. I'm a cat man. And number one, alleys. They only spawn in dark oak cages near pillager outposts, usually in groups of one to three. So you better make sure you've got some armor ready. Chop that box. Then you need to give a block to the alley. It will follow you around and hopefully not despawn. They like to hang around note blocks. So near your house, put a little note block and it will stay with you. If you want to duplicate an alley, what you need to do is put the jukebox on with some music and it will start dancing. Once it starts dancing, you have to give them an amethyst shard. Then you'll have two of them. Alleys are really good at fetching stuff as well, but they shouldn't really go into the nether with you, but they might. Alleys are easily my favorite pet slash sort of passive animal in the game. They're fantastic creatures, they really are. Honorable mentions. Sheep and pigs. You can't deny this, you need the wool and the meat. Certainly without the sheep, your skyblock adventure is over. And the pigs, they're just delicious, aren't they? We all love pork. Striders. They're in the nether and they can help you cross dangerous lava pools. In order to do that, you need to put a saddle on a strider and then use a warped mushroom on a stick and it will follow that. You can't control them directly. Just hold the stick in front of you. Striders are really cool. Mushrooms. I like the mushrooms. If you milk them, you get milk. But if you use a bowl underneath them, you'll get some mushroom soup. What? They're also kind of quirky, aren't they? A mushroom? Okay. And the final honorable mention are pandas. I really like those too. I also like armadillos, but I'm not going to put that in the list because they're not that good. This has been my top 10 pets list. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. Also subscribe because I'm really enjoying making these videos these days. I'm Ixicle and I'll see you next time.